Hello, my name is Matt Farley, and I work as an IT production support specialist for the Asian Development Bank, otherwise known as ADB. We are a multilateral development bank based in Manila, Philippines. We provide loans, grants, knowledge, and expertise to our developing member countries in the Asia-Pacific region. As you can see on our homepage, ADB was established in 1966, and we have 68 member countries with 49 in the region, and our mission is to eradicate extreme poverty. Today I would like to talk about how we've been using Datadog at ADB as part of our response to the global pandemic. Datadog has been instrumental in helping us to keep our IT systems online, available, and functioning for our global workforce throughout the pandemic. When COVID-19 hit, many of our staff who hail from nearly 70 countries around the globe decided to take the opportunity to return to their home countries and work remotely. This meant that we needed to make sure that our IT systems were available not only for the folks working in headquarters in Manila, but for those staff based all around the world. ADB's response to COVID-19 meant that we needed to rapidly disperse loans and grants to our developing member countries. If you go to our website here, you can see many of the press releases that we have of the projects that are currently in flight. Here's an example of a $20 million loan to help Palau prepare for their COVID-19 response. And this press release is about ADB preparing $1.5 billion to help our host country, the Philippines, prepare for their COVID-19 response. This last example is a $20 million grant to help Samoa during this crisis. Our website is full of examples like these, and these are the projects that ADB engages in on a daily basis in order to assist our developing member countries. If our IT systems aren't online and globally available, then our staff aren't able to get the funding to our developing member countries that they so desperately need during this crisis. So now I would like to demonstrate how we've used Datadog to help us achieve our mission. This is our Datadog homepage. We've set it up as kind of a hub for the Datadog users to come in and decide what they want to do, where they need to go, what they want to see. The two examples I would like to share within this video are first, our neighborhood watch, that is how we use synthetic monitoring to, to ensure our systems are online and healthy. And then I would like to share something that we call end user bandwidth monitoring that allows us to monitor the health of the internet connections that our staff from, have from their locations around the globe. So this is what we call neighborhood watch. And this represents our army of synthetic robots, private locations and Datadog public locations around the globe that are continually monitoring our systems. This is a one-stop shop where we can see the, static, the status of our synthetic browser tests. At the top, we've tried to describe to the viewer what this is and how we use it. We kind of use the analogy of a, of a natural disaster that this will show you, hey, if there's anything fundamentally wrong with our foundational IT systems, such as our authentication, our network, our databases, then for sure it's going to show up here in the neighborhood watch. So on the left here, we have private, private location synthetics. So all of these tests are related to the recent, recently released private locations that Datadog has come out with. So these are internal tests happening within our intranet by synthetic robots that are based, again, on our network. We also make heavy use of Office 365. So these tests up here are making sure that um, the Office 365 federated authentication is working, that the robots are able to get into the, the ADB Office 365 systems and run some tests. And then we have what we call extranet synthetics. So these are systems that we've put outside of our firewall that are, that are available publicly, and we have robots logging into those to make sure that they're also online and working properly. The Neighborhood Watch is a great area for us to focus on in times of crisis, because when we have an outage or something strange is going on, we'll see lots of evidence here, and it can give us clues on where to look. At the same time, when we've um, restored an outage and we're coming back online, this is also a great place to come and watch to see the monitors turn from red to green. Uh, last weekend, we actually had a major outage, and when we believe we had everything fixed, it happened to be a, a cable in the data center that needed to be replaced. After we replaced that cable, all eyes were on the neighborhood watch as we slowly watched the greens turn to red. And a few that stayed red, that's where we dove in and found out the server needed to be rebooted or some other tweaking needed to, can't come, needed to take place. So here we can see when everything is green, we feel good. Right now, as I record this, you can see that we have something going on with the Cognos dashboard. So that would be um, something we would dive into and look at and notify the, the necessary administrators. During our Datadog rollout and implementation, we wanted a way to capture the benefits that Datadog's bring into ADB. So we came up with the concept of success stories, and we created a success stories template to capture each one of these use cases, what we did, and what were the benefits that came after. So I'd like to briefly share the success story slide for Neighborhood Watch. 
You can see the slide looks a bit busy, but I'll just walk through widget by widget. So in the upper left, we give credit and kudos to those Datadog administrators who worked on this success story. Here we have the challenge. So in this example for Neighborhood Watch, we talk about how users were often the first ones to let us know if a system was offline. Before we had synthetics monitoring our systems, more often than not, it wasn't the administrator that knew about the problem, it was the user who found out first and then we would know through a help desk ticket. Also, before Datadog, we had a lot of legacy monitoring tools that were siloed within teams and one team wouldn't have access to another team's monitoring tool. So it wasn't a very collaborative approach. So instead of taking a siloed piecemeal approach to monitoring, with synthetic browser testing, we saw a great opportunity to use these tests to do full end-to-end -end validations of our systems. As you can see in this diagram, we're trying to depict that, hey, one browser test on an application like what we call eTrip, not only tests eTrip, but it's testing the ISPs, the network, the firewall, authentication, databases, backend systems. That one test lets us know if all these slices of the pie are online and functioning properly. We don't need the, all the little siloed monitoring tools and we don't need the, the effort that goes into monitoring each one of those separately. From a results perspective, after just two weeks, we had a few instances where we were able to find out something was wrong before the users did and we reacted and got the system healthy and online again. We felt like that was a big success. Also, we feel like the business benefits of this will continue to grow as we add more and more systems to our synthetic monitoring and neighborhood watch. If you think about it, a single instance of avoiding a bank-wide outage that would impact all of our users and in turn impact our developing member countries, just avoiding one of those could easily cover the cost of using synthetic monitoring in Datadog. So this final widget is our ranged estimation for the overall benefits. And we've decided to use a t-shirt metaphor for estimating, is this small, medium, large, extra large? We found that when you pressure somebody to come up with an exact number, not only do they stress out, but they probably don't get the number right. They're far more likely to get the correct range than the exact number. And more often than not, you don't really need the exact number. So we just asked the team to estimate, hey, in what kind of range are the benefits of this success story? So for the Neighborhood Watch story, we feel like it's the maximum range of benefits. We feel like this will continue to pay dividends and return on investment for many years to come. Going back to our global workforce that's working from home from about 70 different countries, I would like to show our end user bandwidth monitoring tool that helps us monitor their connections to ensure they're healthy, able to connect to Office 365, Azure, and our headquarters data center. This makes sure that they're able to do their job and keep that assistance flowing to our developer member countries. And as I said before, it's especially important during this time of the global pandemic. On each of our end user machines, we have a custom agent running regular checks of latency and packet loss to the locations I mentioned, our headquarters in Azure and Office 365. That data is then sent to Datadog as a custom metric. Here on the graph, you can see in real time, how is the latency and packet loss between these locations? We also have drop downs at the top to filter on things like countries. So for example, if we filter on our users in Afghanistan, we can see who's working there, how their connection is. And if we scroll down a bit, we even have ISP level statistics. So if there's a certain ISP in Afghanistan that's struggling, we would get alerted and we would be able to work with our staff in that country to find a resolution. An example of how this has really helped us recently is in one of the largest countries that we work in, they had a major ISP outage and our staff were suffering and not able to do their job. Using this tool, we were able to identify before the ISP identified that they were having a tremendous performance degradation. And then ADB notified the ISP of the issue and they were able to get it resolved and not only get ADB back online and, and helping our developing member countries, but then the members of that nation, that country were able themselves to also get back online. So it was a win-win scenario. So just like the Neighborhood Watch, we've created a success story slide for the end user bandwidth monitoring. For the champions, you can see it was a collaborative effort between four different people across two different teams. The main challenge that we needed to address was when COVID-19 hit and our staff went home to 70 different countries, how were we going to monitor, triage, and assess their connections to HQ and in turn their connections to the applications they need to use every day? In the first version of this solution, we used Azure to host the data. But then we quickly found out that it was cheaper, more effective, and more performant to actually host it as a custom metric in Datadog. So through the Datadog custom metric and the dashboard I just showed, these are the results that we were able to identify. First, the help desk and network teams are now using this tool 
to triage an end user's internet connection when they open a ticket complaining of connectivity issues. Second, we now have proactive alerts on ISP performance degradation around the globe. Third, we saved at least $2,000 a year in Azure hosting costs by moving to a Datadog custom metric. And the fourth benefit that we've identified is that since we haven't hit our quota on custom metrics, it's essentially free to store this data for up to 15 months. Finally, on the t-shirts benefits estimation, we've rated this as a medium in that the performance is saving people a lot of time, hosting the metrics in Datadog saves some pretty good money, and the benefits could even grow larger if we have more stories of identifying major performance degradations and addressing them before it gets too bad. So that summarizes our demonstration of how ADB is using synthetic browser tests, neighborhood watch, and end user bandwidth monitoring, custom metrics, to enable our mission to eradicate poverty, to respond to the global pandemic, and to keep our users online and our systems available, reliable, and functioning properly. Thank you for watching.